Ready, brothers and sisters? Adatlu Sadisa Ashara. Al Abu, the father is asking. Aturiduna Shayan Minasuki Ya Abunai. Who are Ya Abunai? They are in front of him. Are you with me? They are in front of him. So he's asking his sons. So what is he asking? Aturiduna Shayan Minasuki. Do you want anything from the market? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Aturiduna Shayan Minasuki. Do you want anything from the market? Ya Abunai. Ana. Mubtada. Azhabu. Is your jumla failure khabar? Ana al ana azhabu ila al masjid. Wa sa azhabu and I will go. Sa is a full istiqbal. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ila suki baada salati. How will you translate, brothers and sisters? Do you want anything from the market? Oh, my sons, I am now going to the masjid and then I will go to the souk after Salat. Al-Abnaw. All of them are replying. Who will say uh, no to any offer like this? Naam. Nuridu ashiyaa kathiratan. We need a lot of things. Are you with me, brother and sister? Ashiyaa. This is the jama of shayyun. And ashiyaa. With a single fatah, it's a deep throat. And why it is kasiratan? Kullu jama muannas. That is why the nath is singular and feminine. Maza turidu ya Umar. See, maza turidu ya Umar. What do you want, Umar? Uridu kalaman. I want a pen. Ama inda ka kalamun? Translation, brothers and sisters? Don't you have a pen? See, inshallah, you'll be able to translate everything. Ama inda ka kalamun? Don't you have a pen? What is the answer? Bala. Indeed, I have. Hindi kalamun azraku. I have a blue pen. Hindi kalamun azraku. Now, to tease you, I will ask you to analyze it. What is Hindi, brothers and sisters? Zarf and mudahfilehi. Zarf and mudahfilehi. Enda is a zarf. Chibu jumla khabar. What is kalamun? Muftada. And what is azraku? Naat. Why there is a single dhamma on azraku? Deep throat, brother. Enda is a zarf. And you can add pronoun to the zarf. And it will become mudahf. In the who, in the whom, in the whom. What did I say? In the who, in the whom, in the whom. In the ha, in the whom, in the hunna. In the ka, in the kuma, in the kum. In the khi, in the kuma, in the kunna. In the. In the na. So here it is in the eh? zarf and mudafilehi. Fine, brothers and sisters. Uridu kalaman ahmara. I want red pen. Got the idea, brother? Uridu. Let us define uridu. Felon mudarion marfuun. Bidamma, where is the file? Mustatir. Takadiruhu ana. Okay, what is kalaman? Mafulun bihi. And what is ahmara? Naat. Why there is a single dham, fatah there? It is dip toad. Why? It is dip toad. Huh? That is why it is that single fatah. Maza turidu anta ya amru. There is a difference between umar and amar. That we are going to do tomorrow, inshallah. Uridu daftaran. I need a notebook. Amashtaraitu laka daftaran fisbul madi. 
Now here is another verb, brothers and sisters. I think we did it. If you remember, we did not. Ishtara. How many letters are there? Five. Okay. What is extra? No, we, you don't know. This is the first time we are writing it. But we are going to learn soon. The extra, brother and sister, is... So what is the root? Shara. Shara is your root. Huh? Now remember, this is not Hamzatul Kata. This is Hamzatul Vasal. Ishtara. Okay. Because it's a weak letter, it won't behave in the normal way. What I want to do is now, brothers and sisters, I put Nunu Niswa there. What will happen now? How will you pronounce now? Ishtaraina. Mashallah. Excellent. Huh? I will have to give a sukoon here. And this Ya will become visible now. Huh? Ishtara. There was a Ya already there. But it was in the form of Alif. So Ishtaraina. If I know Ishtaraina, do I know the rest of it? Of course. What will be the others? Ishtaraita, Ishtaraituma, Ishtaraitum. Ishtaraiti, Ishtaraituma, Ishtaraitunna, Ishtaraitu, Ishtaraina. Okay? So, the father is asking, Ama Ishtaraitu laka daftaran? Translation, brother? Did not I buy for you a notebook last week? Felisbul Mahadi? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, now look at it. Ishtara. That is Hamzatul Vasal. Huh? So if anything comes before it, we will not pronounce it. So if I put Vav there, what will become? Vashtara. And if I put Ma there, it will become Mashtara. Huh? So how will you pronounce it? A Mashtaraitu. What will you say? A mashtraitu laka daftaran fil ismoil maadi. Didn't I buy for you a notebook last week? What is the answer? Bala, indeed, yes. Wala kinna zaka daftara. Okay. Wala kuhu gairu musattarin. But that notebook. Without any lines, okay? Uridu daftaran za varakin musattarin. Okay, now there is a lot of things going on in this sentence, brother. Uh, I will only briefly take one more minute from you. Walakinna. Uh, lakinna. What is lakinna, brother? Minakhwatu inna. Uh, what do we get after lakinna? Zaka is ismu lakinna. Zaka is ismu lakinna. Is it mansub or marfu? Mansub. And uh, what is after that? A daftara. So what is daftara? Badal. No, you see, it is daftara. And not daftaru. Why daftara? Because it is badal from zaka. And zaka is mansub. Okay. But that, this, is, this sentence is a really heavy duty sentence. Eh? Okay. You stop here. Lakinna daftara. Okay, you stop here. You got your ism? Lakinna. Now, come here. Varakahu gairu musatterin. If you want to put this sentence in the bracket, what do you see in this sentence? Analyze this sentence. Varakuhu gairu satirin. Varaku is your mubtada. Wahuwa mudaf. And who mudaf ilayhi. Where is the khabar? Gairu. Wahuwa mudaf. And mustatirin mudaf ilayhi. Gair will always come as a mudaf. Huh? Now this whole jumla. What is this whole jumla? Coming as a khabar of what? Lakinna. Masha Allah. 
Uridu daftaran. What is the meaning of Uridu daftaran? I need a notebook. Uridu. Fairloon mudariun marfoon bi damma fail mustatir takdiruhu ana. Daftaran. Mafurun bihi mansubun. What is za? Naat. Mashallah. Here za is coming naat. Zu za. Remember zu and za. Now it is mansub. Why it is mansub? Because daftaran is mansub. So zu became za. So za is a naat. And what else will you tell about za? Wa huwa mudaf. And what is mudaf ilayhi? Warakin. And then what is mustatirin? Another naat for warakin. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, you are doing very well, Alhamdulillah. You are understanding. Huh? We will repeat this tomorrow, inshallah. We will start from the beginning again. We will repeat it tomorrow. But I would request you to do the exercises from the previous lesson. And read this lesson. Read the key. Read this lesson. And you will enjoy it, inshallah. And you will see that you are getting stronger and stronger in your understanding of verbs, huh? inshallah.